Kevin Spacey in All the Money in the World Kevin Spacey, the disgraced actor who has been accused of sexual misconduct by numerous men, is getting dropped from his next film and replaced with Christopher Plummer. But here's the twist the movie, All the Money in the World, directed by Ridley Scott, is already finished and set for a December 22nd release, making the late replacement a rather unusual and bold decision. Deadline reported the switch Wednesday night, noting that Scott is currently scheduling reshoots with Plummer. Representatives for Scott confirmed the news to Vanity Fair. In the film, Spacey played J. Paul Getty, the oil tycoon who refused to pay a ransom when his grandson was kidnapped. The actor was nearly unrecognizable in the role, covered in makeup and prosthetics. Spacey ultimately worked on the film for about 8 to 10 days, as Getty is vital to the plot but not to the film's adventurous storyline. Per deadline, the cast, crew, and Sony Pictures agreed unanimously to reshoot the film with Plummer once the Spacey allegations began surfacing. Co-stars Mark Wahlberg and Michelle Williams will be cooperating with the shoots, deadline ads. Scott's decision is a new sort of example of a filmmaker regaining control of his project once allegations threatened to overshadow it. The allegations against Spacey certainly seemed to have destroyed his own career, but they've also marred projects for his collaborators. The film was previously pulled from the upcoming AFI Festival, but it is still on track to hit its original December 22nd release date, a bullseye for award season consideration. This is the second major production that has parted ways with Spacey in the wake of his sexual misconduct scandal. Netflix essentially led the charge, announcing that it would no longer work with its one-time tentpole star. Spacey has since been cut from House of Cards, which is currently being rewritten to exorcise him from its six-season storyline. Netflix also decided not to move forward with Gore, a Gore Vidal biopic starring Spacey as the writer, even though that film was already in post-production when the misconduct allegations began. There have also been more allegations against Spacey in the last 24 hours alone. Former newscaster Heather Unruh announced in a news conference on Wednesday that Spacey allegedly groped her son at a restaurant bar in 2016. Her son was 18 years old at the time. Kevin Spacey bought him drink, after drink, after drink, and when my son was drunk, Spacey made his move and sexually assaulted him, she claimed. Spacey stuck his hands inside my son's pants and grabbed his genitals. Spacey has not yet responded to the allegations. The Spacey aftermath mirrors the tremendous fallout that began shortly after the Harvey Weinstein scandal erupted. Numerous Weinstein Company films were stalled and pulled from release schedules as a result, while collaborators like Channing Tatum quickly cancelled future planned projects. Other films, like Taylor Sheridan's drama Wind River, came to an agreement that the Weinstein Company logo would be removed from future iterations, including streaming releases, home video releases, and award season screeners. In addition, TWC's future income from the film will be rerouted to the National Indigenous Women's Resource Center, a non-profit organization. After the allegations against him originally broke, Spacey apologized to actor Anthony Rapp who made the allegations that opened up the floodgates, came out as gay, and announced that he is going to seek evaluation and treatment. Representatives for Spacey have not yet responded to VF's request for comment about all the money in the world. Get Vanity Fair's HWD newsletter sign up for essential industry and award news from Hollywood. Full screen photo see the stars gather for the murder on the Orient Express premiere Judy Dench photo photograph by Charlie Gray. Josh Gadded Willem Dafoe photo photograph by Charlie Gray. Lucy Boynton and Daisy Ridley photo photograph by Charlie Gray. Leslie Odom Jr. photo photograph by Charlie Gray. Manuel Garcia Ralph a photo photograph by Charlie Gray. Lucy Boynton photo photograph by Charlie Gray. Penelope Cruz photo photograph by Charlie Gray.